Don't get rid of your old cast iron tub. I want to show you how you can reglaze your tub with less than $100 for the entire cost of the materials and so you can keep it for many more years. This is a beautiful cast iron tub, 16 inches wide by 18 inches deep, so it's perfect for you to get there and relax. But uh, if you have your tub already decaying, a tub that uh, is looking really bad, or maybe uh, you have a property that you want to flip, I want to show you how you can transform that into a beautiful tub that is going to last for many more years, that is going to save you a lot of money and a lot of headaches by not tearing all these walls down and stuff. So let's start with the first steps. Now, you normally will have a tub that has a lot of grease, a lot of uh dirt a lot of things inside and of course you want to make sure that before you put any type of coating on it you want to clean it as good as possible now the cool thing about this is that this company homax makes this product i'm going to leave it in the description box but it makes this product that it comes with the entire thing it comes with the a, a spray cans of epoxy it comes with the cleaner it comes with the gloves it comes with instructions so it's really helpful for you and uh, it's really inexpensive. I, I think it's about $50. So because I have a lot of junk on this tub and it was abandoned for many, more, many, many years, I want to make sure that I take as much as possible. So I'm going to use some of the cleaner that I have. And later on, I'm going to mix the cleaner that comes with the product. The product comes with a cleaner that it comes in a powder form. You're going to dilute this in warm water and you're going to use it carefully on your uh, surface and your tub. So I have this scrubbing pad. Normally, I use these little pads to uh, clean uh, tubs that are or, you know, surfaces that I want to uh, paint. Uh, so you can find it at the paint section of your home improvement store. So once you have it nice and clean, look how different it looks now, but it's still all the, the stains and all these things that are obviously from the years of years of using this tub. Uh, you want to make sure that it's nice and clean and is nice and dry. And obviously all these areas are taped. You know, you, you can notice that we tape really well around all the edges. Uh, imagine that you're painting a car. So you want to cover all the areas around your faucet, make sure that all that is nice and sealed. You wanna cover the drain, you wanna cover the, the overflow uh, uh, trim over there, you wanna cover your uh, toilet, your sink, everything that is around that you don't want little particles of paint falling, it's better to cover it. And again, you can just buy this uh, fine film that you can, plastic film that you can cover around with in a, in a you know, just a little roll of tape. So now we have two cans of the same material and what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, shake it like the company is suggesting. You just go ahead and shake it for about a minute, minute and a half, make sure that all the material is, is nice and mixed and you wanna go ahead and start from the back of your tub. You wanna make sure that you, obviously by doing this you don't uh, paint your hands and things like that. So that is a, a proper way of doing it and you wanna use light coats. Now you see that I'm using a mask over here. You wanna make sure that you use that type of mask or something stronger because the smell of this thing is really strong. You don't want that into your respiratory cavities. Now, an important thing is that you don't want to have any open flames. You don't want to be smoking. You don't want to have somebody cooking around and you want to have all your windows open and your exhaust fan working because uh, you want to get rid of all these fumes and all these things and that's something that is flammable. So you want to make sure that, uh, you know, you have as much ventilation as possible. So with light coats, you want to go ahead and cover the entire thing. And uh, the cool thing is that on the bottom, you can apply it just a little bit more because it's not going to, drip is in and you know so it's going to be a thicker coat so um the company suggests that in about 20 minutes you go ahead and you know apply the first coat let it sit for a little bit and you know in 20 minutes more just apply another one so it won't run on you you know and make sure that obviously it's not too cold it's not too hot you want to make sure that it, it, you work in a temperature that is comfortable so it doesn't uh, you know freeze on you or it doesn't just drip on you because it's too hot and you know, after you do the stuff, you want to go ahead and apply a second coat. So again, about 20 minutes in between one coat of another, uh, you want to go ahead and apply this really well. And obviously, once you paint this thing, if you see a little bit of transparency, you want to go ahead and cover it up 
uh, you know, make sure that you don't get too close to the surface because it's going to drip. Now, if you want to do the same exact thing on your walls, you can actually do it. You can actually apply this paint. It comes in white. I never use it in other color, uh, but you can apply it on your tiles. So if your tiles are looking ugly, they have a lot of holes, you want to go ahead and cover the little holes and paint over the entire thing. That's the cool thing about it. So you may want to get a second kit. This kit claims to cover the entire area of your tub and I believe it because I actually have some leftover after I apply like three or four coats of this. So you want to go ahead and let it dry really well. Don't take the plastic out yet because those little particles are going to fall. Uh, and obviously if you need to use the, the, the floor and the tub, I mean, and the toilet and the sink, obviously you're going to use it and you're going to take all the plastic off, but leave the plastic around the tub for at least one day. You know, the more you can leave it, the better. Look how beautiful it looks like. It looks like a, like a surface of a vehicle. You want to, you know, when you're going to clean everything up, you want to make sure that you take all the plastics out. You want to make sure that, again, you let it dry for a while before you step in or, uh, you know, and just don't step over, obviously, with shoes inside or things like that. This is uh, an area you want to use really well. So this is the video. Look how easy it is. Please subscribe, share and like, and I would love to see your comments. Thank you and have a good day.